Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland here in beautiful Miami, Florida for Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me today is John Schmidt. He is the co-founder of Dark Fiber and Infrastructure, or DF&I. Welcome back to JSA TV, John. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Well, for our viewers, could you tell us about DF&I and what you do? It's hard to imagine understanding the name, but we're a pure play creator, uh, owner, operator of just dark fiber and really conduit assets, you know, in metro markets, not a long haul builder. Um, right now, our assets are in Northern Virginia and Maryland. Okay, well, speaking of, of Maryland and, and Data Center Alley, last week, your team announced the completion of a new 65 mile fiber route between Southern Maryland and Ashburn's Data Center Alley. I want to make sure I got that route right for you, so I'm reading it here. It. <laughs> could, it. could you give us an update on, you know, on that route? So that, that piece is complete, and, you know, one of the things that we always like to reiterate when we're talking to people is it's, you know, Baltimore and Ad Air, Northern Maryland is obviously a wonderful destination, but that has nothing to do with the thesis of the build. The, you know, it's a byproduct to be able to provide services in that region. But the whole premise was to intercept all the traffic coming down the I-95 corridor that traditionally has gone through Washington, D.C. A lot of expensive right of way through that area. You know, it's, it's relatively a circuitous route to end up in Ashburn. So what we did is we bypassed that completely, did our own bore under the Potomac River, and now provide, you know, very high count dark fiber connectivity for all those assets. And that's just a piece of the puzzle for Ashburn. Just a piece. Right. And in South Ashburn, you're creating a dark fiber conduit fiber ring there. So can you tell us um, more about that expansion and then what you have um, in the future for that area? So to, right now, the assets that come in from Maryland terminate in the assets we built in and around Data Center Alley. We placed uh, originally six duct and then an additional 22 conduits around connecting those major, major cloud ecosystems. And when we did that, we get, it gave us the ability to expand south, east, and west mm -hmm. after we got the northern, the northern piece done. So right now, actually in December, we kicked off our route going south around Dulles Airport, known as the Arcola area. We're hitting Gainesville, Virginia, Manassas, and coming back up. And it's, you know, for us, this is not the late 90s. Right. You know, we're not solving for a future demand. And we say this all the time. We're solving a supply issue. Mm -hmm. Anybody that looks at the network assets in the region will see the spaghetti of colors and say, my gosh, there's so much infrastructure here. Why would anybody else build? But the reality is there's very little available for, for sale and lease right now. A lot of the legacy assets are there and they've been gobbled up and customers are using them. And there's new development happening at such a such a pace. There's uh, the asset to service. It just simply doesn't exist. Well, bypassing that that artery, it's such a heavily trafficked artery. So that's that's a solution for today. And, um, you know, looking ahead to tomorrow, what else do you have up your sleeve? You know, so, somebody told me a long time ago, the better your idea is, the less you talk about it. <laughs> but it. But at the end of the day, we we are very open that we believe the network that is required to solve the, the demand right now just doesn't exist in the marketplace. The architecture has changed. The customers are have zero interest in hitting old LSOs and serving offices, the data center is the critical key, and it's not data, yesterday's data center, it's the ones that are being built. So the whole topology needs to change, and whenever we can pick those pieces, that's where we want to play. Wonderful, so where can our viewers go to learn more about DF&I and, and follow the latest developments? Pretty easy, darkfiberandinfrastructure.com, and we just run and, run and gun. All right, you heard them, you know where to find them. Thank you so much for joining us, John. We appreciate you coming back. Thank you very much. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.